What just happened? I'm Dan. That's Backface. And today we're here to talk Bad Monkey Episode 7, A Total Cat Person. Sorry we missed last week. I was on vacation. Sorry. So the end of last week, we saw Dragon Queen get abducted. And of course, you knew who it was. It wasn't going to be Egg. They're banging. So it's going to be Eve and, and Nick. So we see that. But while that's going on, we see a flashback of kind of her origin story, right? And I think that was super important because I have a solid deadlock theory right now. And I'll explain more when we get to this to, to the scene that really talks about it. She is no longer the, the Dragon Queen. She is back to Gracie. Then we see that Nick leaves and just the two ladies are talking. And Eve's like, see how easily it could have been for me to kill you? Bang, bitch. It would be that easy. You might want to reconsider, and I've asked around, some people say your magic's real, some people say you're full of shit, but you could ask people about me, but they're all dead. So, join, join up, basically. <laughs> that was kind of hard. That was a it hard was kinda line. Hard. Yeah. Eve's like, Eve's totally insane, but she's totally engulfed in what she's doing, and she accepts it, and she loves it. All she cares about is money. That's it. There, no remorse, just straight no remorse. sociopath. Yeah. Yeah, straight up sociopath. She's out of her mind. So she's like, come find me if you really want in. I hope you do. I need some girlfriends. So <laughs> <laughs> I hope you take me up on it because I just really don't have that many girlfriends. <laughs> she's crazy. She's funny. She's her character is a well-played character. I yeah. like I like yeah. I like the character. She she's meant to annoy, but she does it in a fun way. So it's cool. And then Yancey and Ro, they're staking out the vet that Mendez cat goes to, right? And Yancey goes. I got good info. Mendez's wife said he loves the cat more than he loves me. And Yancey's like, I got a hunch. And then Rose like, oh, with your fucking hunches again. Before he shows up, he does apologize, which is cool. I'm sorry for getting you arrested for murder. He yep. says, I'm sorry for getting you arrested. I didn't know what to do. And Yancey's kind of like, here it is. As much as I like hearing it, you needed to say it. <laughs> Classic Vince Vaughn. It was great. So he pulls up and he was right. And they put cuffs on him and put him in the car. But, like, this is where I'm confused. Why is he even on the run? Do you have anything on this? Like He, he dipped. What is Remember last episode? They were all in questioning. And then yeah. they kind of realized, like, Mendez was purposefully setting up Yancey for murder. And he's like, well, I got yeah. all the evidence on my desk. And he just books. He just runs. So, so he would be in a lot of trouble for that? And that's why he's on the run? I'm thinking he's probably implicated somewhere in all the Nick stuff that is going on. Probably. Like he has a hand in it and he knows that once they open up why he was trying to frame Yancey for this and like kind of shoo this murder under the rug that it's going to lead back to him. So I'm assuming okay. that's why he dipped. And he's so hardcore about his dipping. Like he really does not want to get caught. Oh no. And yeah, he, he goes full out. So, you know, they throw him in the car and he finds the unicorn hair clip that Yancey bought for Rose's daughter, you know, that, they set up, it, it was missing. Then they show the scene where he gives it to her. Very sweet. Gives the son a turtle stuffed animal. Yeah. So, you know, I loved all that setup. And then we get the payoff where he takes the cuffs off, steals Rose's gun, and just starts shooting. So he's like full on criminal at this point. Not a dirty cop. He's a criminal. Yeah. It's, cra it's crazy the, the turn he made. So he must be involved with the Nick Stripling stuff. He must be. Well, There's I think no other a, answer. A lot of people in the position that cops are in. I'm not disparaging police officers or anything because we wouldn't yeah. want to do that. But like, no, I think not. a lot of it is I'll do this now and figure my way out of it later where yeah. he was like, I got a chance to grab this gun. I'm, I'm going to just do this. And, and later on, I'll be like self-defense or something like that. Sure. Oh, OK. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Because he he wants them dead. And there's something that happens at the end of the episode that I want to talk to you about. Uh, crazy. Stay tuned to the end of this video because the end of this episode wild crazy wild so uh ro ends up getting shot in the leg and then ro's like i'm good go chase after him so he goes to chase after him then they're in a standoff and who shows up but donald drop it it was the last person yancey ever expected to see donald donald the security <laughs> guard he got fired the from the old job <laughs> it's, it's perfect he got fired yeah. from the old job because of yancey and rosa but really, he did a good job. He called the feds. The feds came. He did what he was supposed to do. The only thing he didn't do was let them in. You know, he let them in. So I guess that's why he got fired. He's like, 
this is the only job I could get. It's they won't even let me in the hut. <laughs> yeah, Yanks the has got a funny line exclusively back exclusively for management. <laughs> yeah, 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 something yeah. like that. So good, yes. man. When all fairness, Donald, only management should be allowed in the goddamn hut. So good. So while they're in the standoff, Donald keeps taking his eyes off of Mendez, and I'm like, dude. <laughs> You're going to die. You're going to die. Mendez is a psychopath, man. He's crazy. He's going to kill you. So luckily, he does get shot, but he gets shot in, in the upper shoulder area. So he's going to survive. We don't see him later on with everybody else that got shot in the past couple weeks. But I'm sure Donald's fine. I would like to see him one more time to make sure he's okay. But he gets shot. And then they're kind of playing cat and mouse, Yancey and Mendez. And Yancey gets the upper hand on him by saying, Marco. And then we see that he gets shot. And dude, I watched it twice now. It looks like he got shot in the heart. I think he's dead. Yeah, he hit him right on the left side of the chest. So I think I he's dead. Be, you think? I don't know. I, I, I do. feel like they would have showed him die, though. That's true. And what happens at the end of the episode makes me think maybe not. Mm -hmm. because, because of what happens there. But there's a couple ways that that could go that I want to talk to you about when we, when we get to it. So right. we'll see. But let us know. Do you think he's dead? Is Mendez dead? Let us know in the comments. And then we see quickly the Bonnie storyline. I'm telling you what. I love this show. And I think more people should be watching it. I have nothing but good things to say about this show. But the Bonnie storyline, I feel, doesn't fit. And I, and I never really understood it. I'm, it makes me wonder where it's going to end up. Because it feels so out of left field like it doesn't really connect like everything else connects to the show right. like so i'm assuming right yeah there's gonna be some big payoff like maybe something with cody along the way like he's he'll just kind of dumb stumble into some answer because that'd be funny because he's kind of a dumbass but yeah yeah it's weird his man. book dude was hilarious it was just oh. like then that was her reason that she she was contemplating last week like being with him and yeah. starting a life with him because how much he adores her. And he said, wow. And she's like, wow, I needed to hear that. But then when she reads the book, she's like, this kid's a fucking kid. Like, I'm, <laughs> I can't do this. I, I yeah. fucked this kid up. He's yeah. fucked up because of me. So we see her and she's contemplating unaliving herself to alligators. And that would be a terrible way to go out. So she decides not to do that. And then she heads on over to Yancey's. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then DQ, I'm going to keep calling her Dragon Queen until the moment that she's not the Dragon Queen. Because I know, in my opinion, there's a definite scene in this episode where she turns back into Gracie and is no longer their Dragon Queen. So I'll call her that for now, but she's not anymore. So she gets the check for 50K. It's the deposit on the land that she stole. And she's taking the money. And this is the point of no return. She is dead. And I'll talk about it more. There's there's more of a reason why I think she's dead. But we'll get into it later when she talks to Yaya. But any thoughts on that? She's dead, right? Yeah. And yeah, it's kind of like the death of the Dragon Queen because she's officially no longer. I don't know. Like, it feels like she's not yeah. a part of the island anymore. Yeah. Like, yeah. she's the same as Egg or Nick or Eve. Yeah. She's just kind of there to take advantage of the island itself. So I feel like, yeah, that's it. it, yeah. it was a signal that she's dead as a character like she went down the wrong path but also like that's where a dragon queen dies yeah I, I i guess this point could be considered the the death of the dragon queen i was thinking maybe later when she talks to yaya yeah. that's the definite death of of her but i think you know, she, it's it's more for the audience to realize what she did and how that'll affect and yaya as a character to be like oh you're not like the person i thought you were kind of thing okay and then we see neville i'm so happy that he's with the gang yeah. so happy and he's with them, and he shows that his friend Donnie took a picture that day of Nick in Andros. He's alive. He's missing an arm. Boom. We got him. That's all we need. So then Yancey writes up a report, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And we see Evan, Evan Shook, still trying to sell this piece of shit house that is yellow <laughs> as fuck. It's like the Big Bird house. And so he goes on to Yancey's dock to get a better view to take a picture then Yancey walks up. He's scared as shit. He's like, please don't hit me, dude. <laughs> please don't hit me. Um, please don't hit me, dude. And he's like, I'm not going to hit you, but I'll tell you what. When I get my badge back, I'm going to talk to my guy. I'm going to point out every code violation of this house. And you're going to wish you never fucking bought it. And then the narrator says something along the lines of, he already does wish that. So the, the Evan storyline, too, is, is just like Bonnie. It's like, why is it here? But it's, it's I, funny. I have a good theory on why the Evan storyline is there yeah it has to do with the end of this episode but we'll, we'll get to it when we talk oh, about that okay all right yeah, yeah. there's a lot of questions i have for the end of this episode so keep that <laughs> keep that on the back burner for sure 
All right, so again, Gancy goes to the station, right? He goes to see Sonny, and he gives the file to Sonny, and I'm cringing at this point because in my mind, Sonny's bad. I don't know why, because probably because of how badly he wanted to get rid of the arm, making us think that Roe was bad early on in this season. And now I'm thinking Sonny's bad, and he gives him the folder, and then he even tells him Neville – the witness is at my house. He did not come into the country illegally, and he is not currently fishing at my home. And I was like, fuck, why did you tell him he's at your house? I was yeah. now I'm so worried for Neville. And I don't I don't know if I can trust him or not. There's a scene where he gets his badge back later, so maybe we can. But I don't know. What, what were your thoughts on that scene? Were you were you cringing at all? Yeah, I can I just don't know where that dude lays. I'm kind of in this position where I feel like he's just a shitty cop. He's not like a bad person. You know what I mean? Okay. Like he'll All like right. take some money here or there if it like doesn't really affect that many people kind of thing. And he just he's more by the book for his, I don't know, for certain things than Yancey is, but then less by the book for the things that Yancey would care about, like being a dirty cop and stuff like that. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll talk about it in a minute because there's no, another scene with Sonny. Yancey and Rosa get busy and she is making it up the list on my top celebrity crushes. <laughs> oh, my God. And they talk about both going back to work. And this is one issue I have with this show. And I guess my second issue besides Bonnie. I looked it up. Do you know how far the drive is from Miami to the Keys? It's like three hours. It's like almost four. It's like three oh. hours and 40 minutes. And they make that shit seem casual. They do I it mean, n- nonstop. Yeah. That's, that's a little much. It's not too far. It's I did the seven and a half hours. I went and visited Dan one day and I we yeah. live like seven and a half hours apart. And I left that city at like midnight and drove through the night. Yeah, I know. But yeah. to do it to do it on an everyday basis to go see your boyfriend. Like it's such a nice drive, too. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I did I did see when I when I was looking into it, it apparently is one of the most beautiful drives in all of the USA. Oh, scenes, I can imagine the scenes you see, the water and yeah. like all the beach. It's supposed to be a beautiful drive. So I guess they don't mind doing it, but it, it's just a little thing. I like I had to look it up because they always go back and forth. So I'm like, and how far quick. is it? Yeah. And it, it's it's far, bro. It's far. So but they're, they're, they're so cute together, dude. And I hope nothing happens to Rosa, man. If she gets killed. I'll be fucking pissed. I'll be very pissed. <laughs> no, I think she's good. I feel like she'll be all right. I hope so. I hope they end the series and they're together and they're official because they have this funny moment where like, oh, we're not taking it serious. And then he says something like, oh, I'll call you in 10 minutes. And if you don't answer, I'll assume you're in another relationship. <laughs> not make a big thing out of it. But I'm going to text you in about 10 minutes. If you don't pick up, I'll just assume you're dating someone else. <laughs> so yeah. he does his, his his thing. But man, yeah, they're, they're very fun and cute together. So great casting for Rosa. Yeah. She, she's crushing this role. Yeah, it's um, good. Nick is trying to talk to Caitlin and remind me when their relationship soured again because I thought they were still cool. And no, he's trying to text her. Eve go Eve and him go over to her house and they're like, You told you told your fiance, hey, and then she's like, oh. uh, Yeah, and then Eve kind of threatens her and she's like, Dad, are you gonna let her threaten me? And he's like, right. Well, Eve's just trying to look right. out for the best. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's that's when it was. All right, got it. Because uh He's just like, hey, honey, I, I love you. How are you? And she responds saying, like, suck a thousand dicks, <laughs> which is a great. I'm going to steal that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. steal that. Like, instead of saying suck a bag of dicks, like a lot of people say, suck a thousand dicks. A thousand that's, that's, dicks. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Gracie, I'm not going to call her Dragon Queen anymore. She goes to see her friend, but the daughter of the family member that she scammed is there, gives her a dirty look. She goes, that girl was a little bitch to me. And then her friend, uh, Asia her, is her name. She goes, she told me that you stole her family's land. Is it true? And then they kind of get into a fight and then she calls her Gracie and then she gets pissed. But guess what? That's your name now. You're no longer DQ. And yep. she tried to say, hey, I'm the Dragon Queen. You don't even believe in the shit you're pushing. You're not yep. the Dragon Queen anymore. And I got, I got more. I got to wait to the Yaya scene. I got a whole bunch to get off my chest about DQ. It, it's really pissing me off. But yeah, she's back to Gracie and uh, Asia goes to see Yaya in a minute. But Rose is back at work. A six-year-old had drowned in the pool when his parents weren't watching. And that's a tough job, bro. I, I could yeah. not do that job to see kids dying and, you know, everyone dying. People die every day, like every second. I don't know. It, people die a lot. So yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to deal with that type of work. That's morbid, dude. So, no. you know, she walks out. She goes to see her sister. She doesn't. 
think she can do the job anymore. And my guess is by the end of this season, she'll be living in the Keys, no longer a four-hour commute. She'll be living with Yancey, and she'll get a job at their police station or something because she yeah. helped crack this case. So I oh. think something well, along those lines Happily will ever after for them in the Keys? Yeah, man. Why not? Yeah. I, yeah I'll yeah. tell you what, dude. The Keys are beautiful. When I watched the show Bloodline, I was obsessed. And I love when TV shows make the area they're in a character a la breaking bad and new mexico new mexico was a character in that show yeah you could you could always feel it the scenery they shot it on location it was a it was a character in itself and for bloodline the keys was that too and i think this show does a good job with it as well but bloodline really highlighted it and i dude i if i ever like if we ever make it i i think i might move to the keys and and do this from there it's beautiful florida is the spot that's what i hear it's beautiful it's so cheap too, which is crazy. Dude, I would get a little shanty on the beach and just record and make YouTube videos, and and that's it. And maybe dude. write my screenplay I've always wanted to write. That's that that would be my life, dude. This show's great. Like I, I love covering it, even if no one watches these. But I I know a, a couple of you enjoy these reviews, so we're so happy you're watching them. But yeah, she goes talks to her sister and doesn't think she can do her job anymore. And her sister's like, well, I'm the number one sister now. I'm on TV, bitch. I'm on TV, bitch. You know, dad already has been telling everybody he sees, even strangers. She's funny as shit. I love yeah, the sister. I like She's her. She's so funny. When they're trying so, to think of the name for her, too. Yeah. 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 What did they say? Miami Mel or something like yeah, that? She's like, what am I, yeah. a stripper? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Yancey goes home and Bonnie's there. She admits she tried to unalive herself or at least thought about it, feeding herself to gators. So then Yancey gives her the pickle speech that her that his father was going to give her last week, but she finally gets it. And this speech gives her the strength to be like, okay, I'm done running. I'm going to turn myself in. She says goodbye. He goes, that's the fifth time you said it, but this time it's true. And she ultimately turns herself in. We'll talk about that scene when it comes up. So then Asia, like I said, she goes to see Yaya, right? She says, hey, she stole the land. Yaya's like, my granddaughter would never do that. If you just talk to this girl, Drea, she'd tell Asia. you Asia! That. that didn't happen, but she doubt. She has doubt in Gracie. She doubts her. So she goes to the house. She's looking, looking, looking. She goes to the garbage. And she finds the signature she was practicing to forge it to steal the deed, right? So then she's like, oh, shit. And then we get this flashback of when she was the Dragon Queen, when she had a kind heart and she was just helping people and doing it for the love, you know, just yeah, being like, a good a good wasn't person. Wasn't trying to sell them anything, just like, hey, they yeah. just needed someone to talk to, which is like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And she really, like, the greed of Nick and Eve, she said that she had been watching them. The greed of those two, she saw an opportunity. She jumped at it and she really lost her way. It's, it's a shame, man. And her relationship with Egg, I think they're both going to die. I think Egg and Gracie are both going to die. Yeah, this is when Yaya knows that she lost her way and she has to have a conversation with her. And Bonnie goes to her storage facility to be with her books. She sees the camera. She gives a speech to the camera, but the audio is not on. So <laughs> <laughs> no one hears it. <laughs> I love the shot of the cop just sitting in the car like, huh. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. But th that's enough for the agent. She's like, all right, I'm going to go pick her up. It's time to get this bitch into jail in Oklahoma. Okay. So Yancey goes to meet Sonny, and I was so worried here, dude. I'm like, they're in the middle of nowhere. This is just, this is not a good look. Something's going to go wrong. But it didn't. Nothing went wrong. He's like, I gave them your file. They agree. Here's your gun. Here's your badge. I'm happy to be the one to do this. Your gun and your badge. Congrats. Thanks, Sonny. You're back, but I'm out of here. He he left once the woman in charge stepped out, and Yancey made a comment about everybody clenching their butts because she was the <laughs> one truly in charge, and she was. So Sonny takes off, and her name's Director Rhodes, right? And they agree, they agree that Nick killed Pussy Magnet and that he killed Izzy, but they cannot extradite right away because they're worried about the insurance money, and they want to get it back, and the feds had already declared Nick dead so it's kind of a tricky situation that they need more time or else maybe they'll never get that money back. So obviously this doesn't go well with Yancey. He's like, if he hears about this, he's going to take off. You guys got to do this now. They're like, I'm not asking you what we're going to do. I'm telling you what we're doing. This is what we're doing. And then he goes, well, what if I don't, what if I'm not cool with that? And she's like, well, then you'll be back to Mr. Yancey saying that you won't, won't be, be a cop, cop. or be a detective anymore. Right. Yep. So obviously he's not going to stop, but I was worried that scene. 
Luckily, no blood was shed. And, you know, it's the feds. I guess you got to trust the feds, right? They're going to do <laughs> what they think is right. You got to assume that, right? That was the whitest, most Philly thing you've ever said. You got to trust <laughs> the feds, man. Come on. It says fucking no one ever. It says no one ever, dude. Never trust the feds. That's a lesson for you kids out there. If you're watching this, don't trust the feds. All right? All right. Uh, I'm going to put in the picture of us hanging out. That's going <laughs> to be funny. He's taller in person. Than, than you would think. You know Jack. who says you should trust the feds? A yeah. fed. So, is there That's anything true. you got to tell us, Dan? Anything My we got to know? A fed. My cousin's a fed. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. He's in on it. He's got the same last name as me. <laughs> so, all right. Yancey's not going to stop. You know, he's going to try to find a way to go around and to... Good guy, Yancey. To take down Nick and Eve himself. And we'll see. Now he's got Neville on his team. Neville knows the island like the back of his fucking hand. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. I'm excited for, but the end of this episode, we, we got to get to it because yep. holy shit, what the hell? So this is the scene where I wrote the true death of DQ. Yaya knows she stole the land. They get into an argument. Yaya wants to give the money back and the land back. And she's like, no, we can't do that. You have stepped into the middle of your own curse. So yeah, she's in the middle of her own curse. She cursed Nick. And now she's working with Nick. You're dead. You're yeah. dead, bitch. You're dead. They had this conversation about how she doesn't even believe in magic and she's banging egg. And like, Yaya's so upset. She says it will cost you your life. And it will. She's going to die. 1000% she's going to die. And the look that Yaya gives her as she's walking off and what she says to her. Goodbye. My child. Yeah. That, was, that was a goodbye. You're yeah. never going to see me again. Yeah, that was hundred percent. Yeah. So that sucks. I feel bad for Yaya. What about you? Yeah, man. The actress did such a good job in this scene. It's so good. I feel bad for her and I kind of feel bad for the dragon queen. Like I shouldn't, I guess, because, you know, she decided to work with Nick, but she yeah. just was such a cool character at the start of the show that like was, I was man, hoping yeah. she'd be the one that would end it all. You know what I mean? Like kind yeah, of. Yeah, that's what we, but, that's what we thought. That's why he gave up his monkey. He yeah. gave up his monkey to them <laughs> yeah. because they were like, you need to give everything for this curse to work. So he gave up his fucking monkey. Oh, man. Also, seeing the monkey them. this episode, when Yaya yeah. is on her scooter, she's like, you want to go for a ride? I was like, hey, yeah. there's a little guy. I'm That's happy sick. that he at least is with her, but I still hope he ends up with Neville. Yeah, That's me too. That's his true owner. I'm just you know? glad he's happy. You know, I'm, I'm glad it's happening. I'm glad Yaya has someone because <laughs> now she has no one. So yeah. we'll see. But yeah, she was just being super selfish. What about what I want? You love do what you want what about what i want she's gonna die maybe next week we'll see and then we see yancy and rosa they're back at yancy's house they're talking about how shitty their days both were mine was shittier yours was shittier who cares and then in a cuddle so that's cool and gracie goes into her house and starts breaking shit and just fucking stuff up and egg walks in he's like what the hell are you doing and then he's like let's get out of here and she's like she gone we could stay in. And then they bang. So that's probably the last time she'll ever bang. I'm, I'm telling you, she's dead next week. Rip. Next next week. Yeah. All right. We're 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 there. We're there at the scene, guys. Yancey's pop comes in with Cody saying, he's driving me crazy. What the fuck are we going to do with this kid? And what are they going to do with this kid? But then we see what looks to be a strike force around Yan Yancey's house with ARs. Who is that? You got anything on that? Okay. So I watched it over a couple times. I think they're all going to be Nick hired dudes because they have like AKs. Like it's, I was like, is that like a police force? But yeah. None of them like have AKs. scopes. Yeah, yeah. They're like, they're looking like pretty janky guns. And they're not in uniforms. But you, no. you can tell they're not in uniforms. And I think like one of them is wearing a hat. So I don't think it's like the feds, right? No, no, I don't think uh, it's the feds. I'm pretty sure it's Nick is sending someone up after Yancey. I'm assuming like he told Egg to find a way to do it or something like that because maybe they know Neville's still alive and, and kicking in there. I don't know. That's See, that's why I'm kind of worried about Sonny still because Sonny knows that Neville's at his house. True. And he could have relayed that info to Nick and then they're going there to kill to kill Neville. But dude, yeah. you got three guys fully loaded with an AR. And to my knowledge, Yancey's the only guy with a gun. How, is, how are they going to get out of this? Okay, so here's my theory. This is why Evan exists as a character and why he's the neighbor, 
because something he'll have something to do with either warning Yancey that they're coming in or he'll call the cops and he sees them coming in kind of thing. Maybe he set up cameras like motion sensor cameras around the house to see when Yancey's coming in. It, it looked like they were going through his property to get to Yancey's. It did. Yeah, it did. So, or like they're okay. heading around that way. So I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, like Evan might have something to do with saving Yancey because it feels like they almost were on not like a friendship basis earlier in the episode but he's like god damn it please if you could take this house off my hands <laughs> like it would be a yeah. gift kind of thing so I think they're starting to see eye to eye so maybe this will Evan kind of helping him out Yancey will be like oh okay man like oh, maybe I'll cut you slack or you know what I mean Evan being the savior dude okay I could see it I could see all it. right that would be pretty cool I'll tell you what because dude when the episode ended, when I first watched it, I was furious. I was like, you can't end an episode like this. <laughs> I was so mad. Because it like, feels like old on. school TV, man. I miss yeah. when an episode would end and I'd be like, I can't wait for next week. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of shows now. I mean, Silo's pretty good for that. Severance pretty good. But there's a lot of shows that I'm like, yeah, as a whole season, it's good. But I got to get through episodes like three, four, five that have like, nothing they got like no cliffhanger there's no right. like arc in the episode but every episode of this show by the end of it i'm like yeah let's Dude, we go. were talking about we were talking about that since episode three yeah. episode three was that good and we were like this feels like a pre precursor to the finale and it's already <laughs> this good yeah. and no yeah. one's talking about it dude it's, it's so sad and if this show was on netflix it would be everywhere it, yeah it'd be shame. doing so well yeah it's a shame dude but i, but I still believe in uh, apple tv it would have also been dumped all at once and it would have been yeah. talked about for a week and then gone where I like the I style it. of having to wait every week. Dude, week to week is my favorite, dude. I used to love binging. Now I yeah. hate it. If, if a show comes all, out all at once now, I'm like, well, that kind of sucks. I'll watch it you in gonna... sections. You know, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. But if you want to cover it, you got to do it right away and get it right out there. It's annoying. It's annoying you know? as fuck. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really annoying for YouTubers. All right. What do you guys think? Who are those people who sent them? And is Evan Shook going to come to rescue or is Yancey going to go all die hard and fucking kill them all with his pistol? I don't know. <laughs> I, I think somebody dies in that scene. Maybe it's Yancey's father. I, I think see that. Some, or Cody, maybe Cody or Cody. Yeah. Somebody's got to die. There's three of them with uh, a case. Somebody's dying. So we'll see. We'll be back next week to talk about it. We got eight, nine and 10 left. So we got three more episodes of this amazing Damn. show. Tell people about the show. Tell them about our videos. And then, hey, guess what? You want to win 75 bucks? We're doing a giveaway. Once we have 5,000 subscribers, we're like 100 away. Subscribe, and you got a chance to win. That's all you got to do. And if you want, you can have 50% off on anything you want in the merch store. But you can just take the money, and that's it. It's up to you. So do that, and spread the word on this awesome show. It's fantastic. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Later. What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? That just happened. <laughs>